Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Fake Jake here, and welcome back to Marvel Ultimate Alliance. And who do we have here in front of us? No, ladies and gentlemen, your eyes do not deceive you. This right here, this is my main team. This is my kind of uncreatively named, I guess, Secret Avengers. And I don't know, I wasn't feeling very creative on the name, but this is my main team, the team that I'll be using for a majority of the game, because as you build reputation points by using your created team, you can add more characters to your roster, and I will be doing that, so don't worry, you won't just be seeing these four for the rest of the game, but you will be seeing a lot of them, and they are Captain America, if you say so, Spider-Man, why not? Iceman and Cyclops. So yeah, this is my main team. These are my favorite four, and m mainly because I just really like putting their abilities together, and they're some of my favorite characters. So last time we left off, we were in Mandarin's palace, and then we figured out that Mandarin was just a distraction so that the Masters of Evil could kidnap Nightcrawler and Jean Grey. Obviously, we have two of the X-Men here with us, so what are we going to do? We're going to go rescue him. Wyatt Wingfoot? Hi. What's new? Well, this will be my last time coming to you, so take us to the new headquarters. Are you sure you wish to travel to the new headquarters? Yes. Spider-Man. Maybe to market the movie? I don't know. Greetings, my friends, and welcome to my home, the Sanctum Sanctorum. I realize an aging townhouse in Greenwich Village doesn't quite match the opulence of Stark Tower, but I think you'll find it comfortable. The rest of our team has already moved in. I would suggest you talk to Colonel Fury first. He has information concerning our next mission. That I will do, but I gotta say, that cutscene just then with Nightcrawler, I've been looking forward to that one, because that's one of my favorite cutscenes in this game, and Nightcrawler right. is just a boss. Use the Gem of Oster. That comes in handy in a minute. But yeah, that's two of the main reasons why I love this game so much, is A, because of the cutscenes, they're just so awesome, and B, because this story is completely unoriginal. Oh, sorry. Original. I don't know why I said unoriginal, but this is a completely original story, not ripped off from a comic or anything like that. Oh, these are the clay guards from Mandarin's Palace. And a strangely big goat. I don't know what's up with that. Team, welcome to our new headquarters, the home of Dr. Stephen Strange. Why did we leave Stark Tower? We moved because now that Loki's involved, we're going to need magic. And there's no better place on Earth for magic than the Sanctum Sanctorum. Has there been any word on the kidnapping of Nightcrawler or Jean Grey? Professor Xavier has located one of his X-Men in Doctor Doom's castle. That means Latveria is your next stop. For more info, talk to Black Widow. You're free to explore your new HQ, but when you're ready to start the mission, use the Orb of Teleportation near Wong. Alright, so we no longer have Wyatt Wingfoot, we now have Wong. And. Honestly, I have to say, I prefer this place to Stark Tower. I mean, yeah, you have all the technology and stuff, but I don't know. I kind of like the homely look. Oh, it's you, Spider-Man. Hey, Nick. How you doing, pal? I don't think he's very happy to see you, Spider-Man. Um, why is Professor Xavier here? I invited him because he's the only one who can locate the missing X-Men quickly. What makes Xavier so special? 
other than, you know, being the leader of the X-Men. Although I wouldn't say that too loud in front of Cyclops and Iceman. Xavier is one of the most powerful telepaths on Earth. And there's that added incentive that he's the leader of the X-Men. Aaron, apparently Nick Fury feels the need to repeat me. Why would Doom kidnap Jean Grey and Nightcrawler? S.H.I.E.L.D. analysts think it has something to do with the theft of the mutant amplifier from the Omega base. Why do they think that? Seems pretty self-explanatory. They're two really powerful mutants. If the mutant amplifier were used on Nightcrawler, he could teleport anywhere in the world. <laughs> and with Jean Grey, well, I hate to think what could happen. How do you mean? If her psychic powers were augmented and then she transformed into the Phoenix, she could tear the Earth apart without giving it a second thought. Well, she could very well do that. How did S.H.I.E.L.D. get its start? It was originally created to battle Hydra, a terrorist organization run by Baron Wolfgang von Strucker. Man, that's a mouthful. Um, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s grown some since then. Yes. There was a time when S.H.I.E.L.D. became so large it suffered from traitors within the organization. But with people like the Black Widow in key positions, we'll never have that problem again. That's pretty awkward considering how most of the team think that she's a traitor at the moment. Thanks, Colonel Fury. No problem. Alright, uh, Captain America, talk to your former love interest. I don't know if you guys are currently a thing. It's hard to keep up. Hello, Captain America. Welcome to the Sanctum Sanctorum. Hello, Black Widow. What is Castle Doom? Located in Latveria's capital city. It looks like nothing more than a medieval castle. But it houses some of the most advanced technology on Earth. What kind of defenses will we find there? Doom prefers to use robots for security. These Doombots, as they are called, closely resemble the man who created them. Oh, it makes sense after all. How were Nightcrawler and Jean Grey kidnapped? They were visiting Dr. Moira McTaggart on Muir Island when an army led by Ultron attacked. Was anyone hurt? Not seriously. Ultron's team did not waste time with unnecessary battle. They fought their way into the lab area, trapped the X-Men in containment fields, and then teleported out. Uh, straight to the point, then. Were you a Soviet agent? Originally, I was a ballerina. But at the news of my husband's death, I became a spy for the KGB. Why did you defect? I discovered the truth. That my husband was alive. He had become an agent known as the Red Guardian, and his superiors wished him to sever all ties to his past. Thanks, Black Widow. It was no trouble at all. Oh, so just divulging your own backstory was no trouble at all. Sure. Okay, well, whatever. Hank Pym, what's up? Hi, what can I do for you? What's that sphere Wong is standing by? Well, I guess the one that you're standing by, too. That's the Orb of Teleportation. It's for transporting people to different locations. Did Doctor Strange create it? Yes. I guess since he's the Sorcerer Supreme, he's the only one who could create such a powerful, magical item. Well, it makes sense, after all. Oh, that's all? Oh, thanks, Hank. Ah, don't worry about it. All right, Wong, what do you have? Uh, actually, let's have Scott talk to you. Hello, I am Wong, Dr. Strange's assistant. What is the Orb of Teleportation? It is a mystical device recently created by Dr. Strange. It aids him in reaching the Dark Dimension, where his friend Cleo resides. He has a friend in the Dark Dimension? Oh, is the Orb dangerous? Not at all. Once I have attuned it to the proper location, you may use it any time you like. Oh, nice. So, this orb of teleportation serves as our new Quinjet. What is this place? This is the Sanctum Sanctorum. It is built upon a focal point for supernatural energies, and is the home of my teacher, Dr. Strange. What goes on here? 
This is where Doctor Strange conducts various experiments into the mystical world. It also houses his vast collection of occult objects. Thanks, Wong. It was no trouble at all. And apparently all these guys are just happy to divulge all types of information. Use the mirror of the ancient one. Use the mirror of the ancient one. A blurry image appears in the mirror, and then sharpens to show a very old man floating in a void. Who is it that disturbs my meditation? Ah, I see my student, Dr. Strange, has allied himself with an impressive group of individuals. You're the ancient one, Doctor Strange's teacher. Correct. And no doubt, there must be grave danger in the world for one such as you to have banded together. Tell Doctor Strange that his master shall keep a watchful eye on the situation. We will. Thank you, ancient one. All right, Vision. Yeah. Sure. We haven't had a nice man talk to anybody yet. I wonder if I could impose on you to locate the book entitled A History of the Arcane. Wong said it would be located somewhere in this house. Sure thing, Vision. Um, can this History of the Arcane uh, perhaps tell me how to, uh, I guess, uh, reverse, reverse Captain America's head? Because it's backwards. What do you know about Latveria? Latveria is a tiny country in Europe, located near Hungary. It's a haven for gypsies, one of the few people Dr. Doom takes an interest in. How's Doom done as the leader of Latveria? Surprisingly well. There's virtually no crime because the country is patrolled by an army of robots. And thanks to Doom's genius in weaponry, Latveria is considered by many to be a superpower. Who is Loki? He's the son of Lothi, king of the Frost Giants. Odin took the infant Loki as his own son after defeating Lothi in battle. I think you uh, got Iceman pretty interested from Frost Giants. So Thor and Loki were raised as brothers? Yes, but as the two boys grew, so did Loki's hatred of Thor and his desire to rule Asgard. Alright, well, as this conversation grows, uh, so does my desire to see Captain America's head on straight. Thank you, Vision. You're welcome. Okay, that's better. What is this thing? What was I not gonna say? Well, that looks like, uh, I'm probably gonna say this wrong, but like the Wand of Watum, I think is how you say it. Although, I know there is one room in here that you can only go into if you have Doctor Strange on your team. It's this room. And maybe that wand I was talking about is actually in here. And I believe we have someone very special to the X-Men back here. Oh, it's Xavier. This place is just full of guys with no hair. The Masters of Evil recently abducted two of my X-Men. Jean Grey and Nightcrawler. Uh, Wong, are, are you okay back there? Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, ignoring the wonky guy behind us. And yes, I'm gonna use that joke, so get used to it. Colonel Fury has placed a priority on saving them. Apparently, he feels that by locating the wayward X-Men, you will also uncover the headquarters of the Masters of Evil. Oh, jeez. Wong is freaking me out. Have you had any luck finding your people? Yes. With the aid of Cerebro, I've discovered Nightcrawler is in Latveria. That's the country Dr. Doom rules. Nightcrawler's location really comes as no surprise. Although I must admit I'm puzzled as to why Jean isn't with him. So you're not puzzled by the bald guy that's glitched behind Spider-Man? <laughs> Maybe that's just a thing you bald guys have in common. You really don't have a care. But there's no time to hesitate. To get to Latveria, use Doctor Strange's Orb of Teleportation. It will send you there instantly. Nice. 
Oh, jeez, we got a lot of speech options here. What's that device beside you? This is an uplink beast created, so that I can access all of Cerebro's functions, even though I'm miles away. What's Cerebro? Being an X-Man, should know the answer to this, but... It's a large device located in the sub-basement of the X-Mansion. I use it to locate mutants around the world. Uh, okay, Spider-Man just got pushed, and Wong is still glitched. So apparently all you need is Spider-Man and Cyclops, and you can uh, capture a wizard. Good thing I brought these two with me. Oh, jeez, that's gonna take my mind off this whole conversation. Are you the only one who can use Cerebro? No, but it can be dangerous to the untrained mind. That's why I will only allow the most experienced of telepaths to use it. Which of the X-Men have clearance? Jean Grey and Emma Frost are both quite skilled at working with Cerebro. Oh, okay, Wong, okay, you look like you're dabbing. Oh man, that's just weird. <laughs> Who is Nightcrawler? His real name is Kurt Wagner and he's perhaps the kindest soul I've ever met. Hailing from Germany, he is devoutly religious, despite his somewhat devilish appearance. Is he an X-Man? Oh yes, he's been with the team for years. His mutant ability to teleport has saved the X-Men hundreds of times. Well, if he weren't captured, I would come, I would ask him for to remove me from this situation because Wong is, keeps getting more weird. Who's Jean Grey? Jean is quite a talented telepath, and very powerful at telekinetics. More so than she realizes. And that power carries a grave danger. What danger is that? If she expends too much energy, there is a chance her personality will be consumed by the Phoenix. The Phoenix is a malevolent entity, capable of great destruction. Thank you for the information, Professor Xavier. Of course. Come back anytime. You don't have any special speech options? Okay, Cyclops, move. You don't have any speech options with your X-Men? Is there something else I can do for you? You can give me a speech option. Okay. Of course. Okay, Wong, Why you're not? starting to get on my nerves. Bobby, do you not have anything? Greetings, Bobby. I trust you're learning from this rather unique group of individuals. Yeah, Wong being among them. You bet, Professor. Man, the things Ghost Rider can do with those chains. And when Deadpool gets going with that katana, wow, talk about messy. I haven't seen Ghost Rider here. Yes, perhaps you could shift your focus to Black Panther or Captain America. Of course, come back anytime. Okay, let's just get away from Wong. I think that's everything down here. Let's head upstairs. To the sanctuary. Greetings, humans. I am Clea, Sorceress Supreme of the Dark Dimension and friend to Doctor Strange. Can we look around here? Yes, but be wary. This is where Doctor Strange stores arcane objects. Most are harmless but some could prove quite dangerous. Just got one question for you then. If this is where all the dangerous artifacts are being kept, then why did you let a blind man in here? Yes, I'm looking at you, Daredevil, in the armchair. <laughs> hey, that name you gave me, C.B. Sobolski, <laughs> was perfect. He was able to help you? Yeah. He said all I need was a shield security module. Would you mind talking to the Vision? I bet he has one. Wait, did Clea just... port from right in front of us to that chair? Okay, yeah, note to self. Always head up here first, because they're always going to have you do something that's going to force you to go back to the other area. Yeah. Spider-Man. Come over here for a conversation with Spider-Woman. First, I want to grab that comic. Oh, pff, I am very sorry, Jessica. Hi. How are you? Why do men get stupid around you? Oh. 
You must have seen how Jarvis reacted to me at Stark Tower. It's a pheromone thing. I'm still learning how to control it. A pheromone thing? Yes. You see, I transmit a chemical that makes men very attracted to me. It gets a lot worse when I'm under stress, like during battle. Are you any relation to Spider-Man? Me, the guy you're talking to in the red and blue tights? None whatsoever. I'm not his sister, I'm not his cousin he gave blood to, and his powers were never accidentally transferred to me. You've never even dated? Well, he is cute, in a geeky sort of way. But with his sense of humor, I prefer to keep my distance. Um, Daredevil, are you the only blonde one in this place? Cause, I mean, is she aware she's talking to Spider-Man? So why are you called Spider-Woman? Mostly because I have enhanced strength and can stick to walls, like the Web Slinger. But also I have the power to generate bioelectric venom blasts. Well, Spider-Man can't do that. I'm not a Spider-Man or anything. <laughs> no. He also hasn't had the training in hand-to-hand -hand combat that I've had. I... I can handle myself. I mean, I fought the Sinister Six. Thanks, Spider-Woman. You bet. Yes, I'm sure it was. Wait, where's my team going? Oh, they're all just standing in formation. Nice. I mean, I suppose out of Captain America, that's not altogether unexpected. Yes. Okay, okay, that was weird. Uh, Daredevil, conversation. Sure. Action, a Spider-Man, I want to bring you back. Cyclops, move. Hello. How are you? Do you think Black Widow might be a working for Doctor Doom, even though that text is, uh, worded wrong? You mean because of the laptop we found on the helicarrier? No, that's impossible. Black Widow is a lot of things, but she's not a traitor. How can you be so sure? I know, because I fought beside her, and I've been romantically involved with her. And on a more practical side, she doesn't act like she's lying. Who actually says that they've been romantically involved with someone? Who actually says that out loud? Oh man, I suppose Matt really can't see who's around him to hear it. What do you mean Black Widow doesn't act who, like she's lying? A person's heart rate changes when they lie. And Natasha's heart is steady as ever. She has to be telling the truth. That's right, you have acute hearing. Yes. That's one of the side effects of having radioactive waste dumped on me as a kid. What did the radioactive waste do to you? It blinded me, but it also heightened my other senses. I now have a radar-like ability to give me a mental picture of my surroundings. But how did you learn to fight so well? That was because a martial artist named Stick trained me how to use my new abilities. Oddly enough, Stick's also blind. Kinda curious how they found each other in the first place. Thanks, Daredevil. Anytime. And I am pretty sure that there is a collectible up here. History of the Arcane and a Daredevil action figure. Have you... did you put this up here, Daredevil? Don't really know how you would get up here to do it, but... Well, why do they put stuff on platforms like this? Can't go oh, this really? way. Really? Spider-Man, come on, you can stick to stuff. Doctor Strange. That was a nice landing there. Okay, that is just weird. Um... Okay, I'm nervous. Uh, okay, you two are down, so you're fine, but, uh, Cap? You okay? Okay, we're fine. All right. Humans, I would warn you, dark magic is stalking this house, waiting to pounce like a wolf in the night. Who's responsible for this magic? Doctor Strange's most powerful enemy, Baron Mordo. Who are you? My name is Clea. 
I am the Sorceress Supreme of the Dark Dimension. You know Doctor Strange? Yes. We are quite well acquainted. Years back, Stephen brought me to Earth, and I became his student. Once I had learned all I could, I returned to my dimension to free it from the corrupt rule of my mother. Dark magic is after us? All I can tell you is, this house, the Sanctum Sanctorum, is the focal point of an immense evil energy. Do you know when this evil magic will happen? That is what most concerns me. It is happening now, even as we speak. Like a menacing vulture, it hovers waiting to strike. Who is Baron Mordo? A vile dark sorcerer who has long been a rival of Stevens. And though he has great inborn magical powers, Mordo is no match for the mystical might of Doctor Strange. Why are they rivals? Long ago, Mordo pretended to be a student of the Ancient One, all the time plotting to take his power. Stephen discovered Mordo's deception and attempted to warn the Ancient One. Thank you for the warning, Clea. Of course. Uh, you guys are floating in formation again. I'm getting nervous. I'm on it. Greetings. I trust you have spoken with Clea about the dark magic she senses. I now sense it as well. This dark magic Clea senses, what will it do? It is difficult to tell. The magic waits like a creature on the hunt. It lurks in the dark, waiting for its moment to pounce. There's nothing more you can tell us? I'm sorry. All I know for certain is that this dark magic is the work of my arch-nemesis, Baron Mordo. How do you know Baron Mordo? Long ago, I had been a doctor of surgery and injured my hands in a car accident. While searching for a cure, I met the Ancient One. Your teacher? Yes, but at the time his student was Baron Mordo. I discovered Mordo intended to steal the Ancient One's power, and I helped to stop him. Since then, Mordo and I have been bitter enemies. Who's the Ancient One? He grew up in the Himalayan mountains some 500 years ago. There he was trained in the mystic arts, but was ultimately forced to battle his treacherous master. The young man then dedicated his life to fighting dark magic, and joined the Order of the Ancient Ones. He outlived his compatriots, and feared he would die without finding an apprentice. Then, he met me. Thanks, Doctor Strange. You're quite welcome. And my team is floating in formation yet again. Hey, what's up? How did you find us? Do you honestly think any of you can hide from a super hacker like me? There is nowhere on Earth you can go that I can't track you down. Actually, Deadpool told me. How did you get in here? Well, I climbed up a drain pipe and crawled in through a window. Then, a plant tried to eat me, and, and some tentacles tried to drag me into another dimension. Just wait till you get my bill. Any word on the Imperium? Nothing new. Far as I know, it's a think tank run by S.H.I.E.L.D. But I'm looking to find out exactly what it is they're thinking about. And still no idea why Black Widow had information on the Imperium's security system. Well, I bet she's working for the other team, but we'll know more once I hack into S.H.I.E.L.D.'s Black Ops network and get full info on the organization. Thanks, Weasel. Ah, <laughs> you can thank me later. With cash. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I did not tell you that this was a paying job. Alright, Vision. Ah, you found the book. Thank you. This should help improve my knowledge of the mystical realm. 
Or, you know, you have plenty of uh, sorcerers and sorceresses. That's a mouthful. To ask around here about it. Vision, do you still have that security module? The one for accessing shield data? Yes, I still have it. Could you give it to us? I suppose there's no harm in that. Yeah, that doesn't sound suspicious at all. Thanks, Vision. You're welcome. Alright, and we're back upstairs. I had to say, one of the good things about Ultimate Alliance PS4, much faster loading screens. Well, what have we here? Oh, a brand new XJ9 shield security module. Sweet! Now I can do some serious hacking. Enjoy yourself, Weasel. Ah, you can thank me later. With cash? I thought I made it clear that there was no cash involved. Alright, I believe that's everything to do around here for now. This has been Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and next time we, we will be heading to Doctor Doom's castle to rescue Nightcrawler, and I will catch you guys in the next one.